Hey, Aldo, what's going on? Hello. Um, give me just a second. I had a. I'm having issues with uh, with my gear right now with my equipment. So. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna go. Um, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Okay, sorry, I had to send this message to the group because I don't know why my computer stopped working. So tell me, from 1010 to 1020, tell me, how can I help you? Okay, uh, uh, in the class that we had. Uh... Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Um, Eric. Eric, Eric, can you hear me? Um, yes, I can hear you. Fíjese que tuve problemas con la conexión. No me pude conectar inmediatamente. Entonces, estoy tratando de pasar todos 10 minutos. Si le tocaba a las 10.10, se puede conectarse por favor a las 10.20. Perdón, se me trabó la, la compu. Tuve que ir a conseguir otro mouse. No problem. Grandes, madre. Problem. Thank you, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, so uh, tell me, Aldo. So, as I say, um, I, uh, I don't know, I can't remember if it was in the class for yesterday. Mm -hmm. or the day the day before mm -hmm. you use had had <coughs> and uh, how can i recognize when i have to use that kind of that kind of thing well mm -hmm. oh, give me a second i really hope i don't just a moment please I don't want to have the same problem again. I'm not even going to touch my computer. <laughs> so uh, pretty much uh, I cannot write down anything because if I touch it's going to go crazy. Pretty much the context is the one, Aldo, that is going to mm -hmm. tell you what it is. For example, mm -hmm. had had, it is a very particular thing. So it is one grammar tense <coughs> um, with one particular verbs. For example, I had had a car. Right? So this is exactly in the use of past perfect. You only use it with past perfect and just this one tense with that particular verb. I had, had you, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead. No, I'm asking you because this, the, this was the only, the only time that I heard on the real life. I heard it before on a sitcom. It was uh, the Big Bang Theory, for example. They, in one chapter, the the characters were were game, were in in the middle of a discussion, and they used they had 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 in three ways uh, had had having had had having had something like that. So that's what I that's what I get got confused, and that's what I when I heard, I think in this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. Yeah, pretty much the context. That's when you're talking specifically in uh, past perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, normally you will use it for two situations in the past, one before the other one. That is the main focus of uh, past mm. perfect. So for example, um, I had, I'm going to use another verb, okay? So you relate it. I had traveled to the United States before you were born. So before you were born, I had already traveled. That action had happened before that one in particular. So antes que tú nacieras, yo ya había viajado. 
Okay, so okay. in real life, we can say something like, I had had this cell phone before it became famous. Yo he tenido este teléfono antes que se hiciera popular. Right? Mm -hmm. So, in other cases, I have had, have had, I have had my phone for five years. He tenido mi teléfono por cinco años. That will be present perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, with present perfect, it's about experience. With past perfect, <coughs> we focus about an action in the past before another one. So the first had is part of the structure, is the auxiliary verb, and the second had is the verb have in the past, in the uh, past participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I, that's one doubt that I have because I, I need to improve my vocabulary mm -hmm. and I have to improve my grammar as well. Uh, just for my work because I have to, to, to attend some crew members and I have to give them, give them, I have uh, to give them, give them some mm, briefings mm -hmm. before they take off mm, okay. from the airport. So that's why uh, I always, uh, um, took, took the, Took the chance, take, 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 take the chance to, to make a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talk about everything, any topic. Sometimes it's not related to the work and sometimes it's related to the work. So I have to, to dominate both uh, kind of English. Correct. Technical and uh, the other one, the normal. <laughs> no, and pretty much um, you are actually making, uh, you're doing a great job, to be honest with you. You're one of the ones who participate the most. You are taking this seriously. And Aldo, that is the way to go. That is exactly the way to go. And you have something that is very, very good. It is a benefit. You have the chance to talk with people who speak English at work. Okay. Right? Some people don't, don't, don't even have who to work with, who to practice with, and you do. With that attitude, you're gonna, <coughs> you're gonna learn faster. Right? I hope. Yeah, make sure that everything is in English, your TV, your phone, your social medias. Uh, make sure that you, I'm gonna give you a tip. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't wanna touch this, <laughs> this computer right now. But go to ESL, E as in Echo, S as in Sierra, L as in Lima, that lab, Lima Alpha Bravo, dot com, ESL dash lab dot com. At the bottom, you're going to have listening in context. Okay? So I'm going to tell you this real quick. Um, look for the listenings. I think they are at the top because they updated the website. Play the audio. Answer the comprehension questions. Right? Then at the bottom, it, there's a, a button that says listening script. Listening script. So you click it and now you can see the conversation written. Like right? the subtitles. It is actually written because it is an audio, so you see it written. The point mm. in, in these two minutes I have, um, first, listen, answer, and you try your reading comprehension, your listening and comprehension. Then listen and read. Right? You're listening and you are reading. You're going to comprehend a little bit more. After that, in paragraphs, like the way I do it, play, pause, repeat. Exactly as it sounds. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Remember, with a minute, with a two-minute audio, you can work it for two hours. Now, after you have done this, because the challenge doesn't stop there, you are repeating so much that you're learning 
intonation, you're learning stress, you're learning linking sounds, mm -hmm. you're learning vocabulary, you're learning grammar, like the natural way of learning. Where does the major challenge go? That after you have done it so much, you're gonna play it and you, Aldo, have to speak at the same pace. You have to speak right on top of the audio and try to keep up the pace. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So this is the website that you gave me. E S L E S L. E S L. Mm -hmm. So do that, my friend. Do one of those audios a day and try to make it as similar as you can. And then record yourself and compare. Okay. Dash, but dash is this, guion, is this a slash, dash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that, my friend, and uh, you're going to improve. It is. It takes a long time. But believe me, your vocabulary is going to improve. Everything is going to improve. I guarantee. Okay. All right, man. Perfect. Thank you very much for your commitment and understanding. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. I'll try to, to connect because I'm going to work tomorrow. So... Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the inter internet connection is pretty, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. make, so, sure, make sure to participate a few times. If you can connect, of course. Even yeah. though you might be doing something else, make sure you participate. So when I call attendance, then I can, see, I can say that you were there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my man. Have a okay. good one. See you tomorrow. See hey, hey, Eric. Hey, Eric, thank you very much for understanding. <laughs> uh, thank thank you. Um, so tell me, what can I do for you tonight? Uh, for example, I have some issue with the reporter's speech. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I understand the, the times, I mean, the, when you say the, a, a time uh, back, mm -hmm. when I tried to apply it to the sentence or expression, mm -hmm. it didn't work for me. For example, I was trying in the, Task number nine, and I have issues there. Task uh, I don't know why, nine because I, in the book, yes. or or or, or no, on the, the, in the on the website, in, in, the, in the homework, in the, on the website. Ah, oh, okay. Because I changed mm -hmm. the I changed the the verb to the past, but I know if I uh, do something else wrong because. It doesn't work for me. For example, I have some issues in the in the in the in the previous task also. I got some help and I couldn't do it, but okay. I, I don't know why. Or it may be because uh, I let me let me check it. Don't apply the, the the right subject. Yeah, let me check it with you right now. Which one is the one you're having issues with, uh, Eric? Which homework? With the one point nine. One point nine. No, it is the 2.5. 2.5. Okay, let me go there so I can help you. Okay, here it is, 2.5. It's loading. Okay, so I have 2.5 in front of me. Which one is the one you're having issues with? The task number nine. Task. The, the second part. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, convert the correct WH questions to indirect speech. Okay, now, to be fair, we haven't actually covered that yet. We haven't covered that class. However, okay. let me help you. We have, how many children do you have? And if you notice on top, it says, my new neighbor asked me with all of yes. them. So we're going to yes. have something like, who is asking for that? Who's asking? Uh, my neighbor, he. Uh -huh. So you're going to write down, my new neighbor, completely. Okay. How do you say my, my neighbor? My new neighbor asked me. Uh -huh. So you have, who is asking my new neighbor to comply with the structure? Yes. Ask me the, Ask the, me. the phrase, and you do it in past, right? My new yeah. neighbor asked me. Ask me. 
And if we have, uh, how many children do I have? How many children mm -hmm. do I or did I? In this case, it's so going to be, um, and like I said, Eric, we haven't covered this topic in class yet, but when you have WH questions, what you do is that you have to eliminate the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. So pretty much you're going to do something All like, right. my new neighbor asked me, instead of how many children do I have, you eliminate the do and you use the verb in past. So it's going to be okay. how many children I had. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so again, I, I was confused because I guess we have mm -hmm. covered this class, but it's my mistake. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we haven't covered this one yet. We covered yes, okay. no questions, and this is WH, right? Okay. But now you know <clears throat> what's coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank so you. let me help you here. Always remember who is asking my new neighbor. Go ahead and try it. Try it on your on your computer. Okay, I'm gonna try. Mm -hmm. My new neighbor. Uh -huh. My new neighbor. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Ask me <laughs> how many children? Children without S. Children is already plural. Okay. Mm -hmm. Child is in singular. How many children? Uh huh. And remember. Exactly. Remember that you're sending it to the past. This is a simple present, so we go to simple past. Eliminate okay. do, and then you have I had. New neighbor, wait, your connection. Tell me if it accepted the answer. Okay, this one. No, but maybe I did something wrong. Let's go ahead and check it. It should check be the spelling. Aha, uh -huh. my new neighbor. My new neighbor. Mm -hmm. Compare it with the one you have on top. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ask me. Ask me. Mm -hmm. And then? How many mm -hmm. children? I have. Mm -hmm. No, it's supposed to be. <laughs> are it's you supposed to be right? Are you writing down the period? Yeah, at the end. Eliminated. Let me try. <clears throat> yeah, it's right. Okay. So the period was the, the the. Yes. <laughs> uh, do me a favor. Let them know. Let them know in the group okay. that it comes. Okay. Hey guys, in exercise, in homework, let me see Five. which one is it. In homework two point five, exercise nine. In the first, in the first uh, exercise, don't write down the period. I'm going to report it. Okay. In the second one, you have to write down the period. All right. In the third one. Okay. <laughs> You have to write down two periods. It is a mistake. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna ask them to fix it. And the other one, and then and number four is just with one period. And uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's let's work. I with, got it. Where do you work? Where okay. do you work? Uh -huh. okay. Who is saying that? It's always my na my my, my new neighbor. neighbor. Uh huh. Let me try. So we got who is saying that, my new neighbor, 
neighbor. Uh -huh. Ask the, me always. Uh -huh. Then the phrase, ask me. Ask me. Uh -huh. Where? Uh -huh. Where I, uh, mm -hmm. So I have to eliminate the, the, the two. Yes. Okay, where? Mm -hmm. Where I have work? Mm, it is in simple present, so it goes to simple past. Where I? Where I, where I work. Worked. Mm -hmm. In the I period. Work. In this one, don't forget the period, yes. please. <laughs> Where I work. Mm -hmm. mm, something happened. Let me check. Mm -hmm. And make sure you have the period for this one. Yes. My new neighbor. Mm -hmm. Let me check the spelling. My new neighbor asked me. Remember that is asked in past. Yes. Ask me where I okay no was my mistake. Mm -hmm. Where I worked. Mm -hmm. And the period. You told me just one period or two? Just one. In that one, just one. Okay, yes, yeah. correct. Okay. In the meantime, if I don't have anybody else, then you can stay. After you, we have... Uh... Ernesto, I guess. Well, but, but anyways, let's continue. If they are not here, let me help, continue helping you out. So the next one is in past. Okay. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, let me delete this. And from past, we go to past perfect. Yeah, okay, just, where was my neighbor? Mm -hmm. My neighbor asked mm -hmm. me. Correct. I'm paying attention to you. I'm just writing in the chat. <clears throat> okay. So we got Amy and David. So the third question is, my neighbor asked me when, mm -hmm. when I, when I have, when I have moved. When I had moved, correct. When I have moved to the city. To this city. To, oh, yes. To this city. And remember that, oops, that was my mouse. <laughs> and remember that. <clears throat> that uh, exercise is uh, is incorrect, and it requires two periods. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm doing something wrong because I do two periods, and it's uh, mark mark on red. Yeah, we gotta make sure. But I guess that right now you have actually answered your question, right? You just make sure that you eliminate the deed or do, right, to eliminate the question okay. and make it a sentence. Okay. Let me ask, check the spelling also again. Mm -hmm. Neighbor. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna paste. Again. 
something happens. What do you have? No, it's smart on red always. Do it with one period, perhaps? It's just showing me that it's I'm taking two. Mm -hmm. No, it's maybe two periods. It's maybe my mistake. Let's double check. Let me check the spelling. My new neighbor. My new neighbor. Uh -huh. In past. Ask me. Ah, there you go. Asked <coughs> when I, because remember that you have to keep the same structure of the question. Okay. Uh -huh. Si usted le pone ask me, otra vez va a tener que poner I. Entonces ese me no va para evitar la repetición, to avoid repetition. Okay. Your neighbor ask. Uh -huh. When I have moved to the city. Have or had? Ha have. Uh -huh. Have. Had with D. Remember that we already have it in simple past. We go to past perfect. Had moved. Okay. <laughs> so it's supposed the the right answer is. Mm -hmm. My new neighbor ask, 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 mm -hmm. when I have, had with the H A D, yeah, when I had moved mm -hmm. to this city. Correct. No, I don't know what's happened. But it's always in red. Okay, so what you can do in this one, Eric, I'm trying to answer, but I can't. You use the link that I sent to you guys, right? To get yes. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, what you can do is send it to me. Copy what you're doing and send it to me so I can check if there is a mistake. And if not, I'm going to have to ask IT to double check. Because according to what you're telling me, you have it correct. Okay. I'm going to try the, the last one. Okay. Oh, there is Ernesto for the last three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Try it and send it to me. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> have, have a good, good night. Night. Hey Ernesto, yeah. <laughs> what's up? You you were having issues? Yes, sorry. Uh, mm. I was having issues. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, tell me, we got we got like three minutes, and if Amy doesn't show up, then the ten minutes are yours. If not, I still have uh, the last ten minutes open. Tell me, what can I do for you? Um, let's see. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't know what to say, what to to see. Uh, it doesn't really have to maybe, be it can be any doubt you have. Okay, in that case, yeah, I will need some help with with the with the fluency. Okay. More than everything, as you. You said uh, before. Sometimes I pass from from the past and speak in present when I shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I'm here because that's my objective to improve that part of the English the fluency. Okay. Um, the recommendation that I can give you for this, Ernesto, is to um, mirror. Mirror is pretty much to repeat. The exercise I do with you when I read 
is exactly for that, for listening, for pronunciation. So what we can do is that I can share a process that I have created for you to improve your listening. If you improve your listening, you improve your fluency, right? So, um, okay. yeah. like I said, if Amy doesn't show, then I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you all of the details right now. If not, you can text me, and I will send it to you um, personally. It is a website called Randall's Listening. So basically, the idea is for you to um, play, listen, pause, repeat. Okay, so play, pause, repeat. And if you want to improve your past, you can do that with an audio that is talking about the past. Okay? So it has different context in, in different grammar tenses. It's like a normal conversation. Okay, yes, yeah, sounds very good, sounds great. Randall's listening. I the will web, look for the page. The website is ESL, E as in Echo, S as in Sierra, L as in Lima. ESL dash. ESL dash. Uh -huh, el dash is a guion. Eh, así, acostado en medio. Lab. Uh -huh. com. Lab. Mm -hmm. Lab. Lab. Com. Dot com. So you have to look for the audios. I think they are at the bottom. And they have easy, intermediate, and advanced. Start with the easy ones, which are not that easy. <laughs> So start with the easy. Um, what you have to do is, I'm gonna tell you real quick, because Amy is still not here. Um, select one. The first one is a day at school. You select it, and you will see just the, the, the audio and some questions, right? Play it once okay. and answer the questions. That way you check your comprehension, right? Then down below, write it down. You have to click where it says listening. I can't remember if it says listening or transcript. Script. Script is like the dialogue in written. Okay. Right? So once you click it, you will be able to see what you are listening and it's easier for you. So you play, pause, repeat. Try to do it in complete sentences or complete paragraphs and try to repeat exactly as it sounds. If they say, hi, how are you? You do the same. Don't say, hi, how are you? You say, hi, how are you? And, um, and believe me, with a two minute audio, you can work 45 minutes an hour. So once you have done that, you are practicing and in your head, you're gonna start getting the, the phonemes, the linking, your fluency is going to improve. And the next step is for you to talk. You have practiced so much that now you will be able to play and speak at the same time. That is the next challenge. If you see you go from listening to repeating, to repeat at the same time, okay? So you play the audio and you try to speak at the same time. Okay, so say with me, I study English at nine, no, at eight, right? I study English at eight. I study English at eight. Now say it at the same time with me. One, two, three. I study English at eight, at the same time. One, I study two, English three. At eight. I study I, English at eight. I study English at eight. All right. Amy is here. I'm going to give you more details. Ernesto, text me and I'm going to send you the document where I have everything. All right. Okay. Text me personally. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to send you the document. Have a good one. Bye, Neto. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Neto. Hey, what's up, Amy? Tell me, Bye, what Amy. can I do for you? See you, man. Bye. Hi, hi. So, 
What's up? What can I do for you? Any questions about the topics we have covered, vocabulary, English in general, tips, you let me know. Um, well, I think I don't have a lot of doubts about the topics, but mm -hmm. I would like to, to get some tips to have like, um, I don't know, more vocabulary or tips for a better fluency and pronunciation. Um, I think that maybe I, I could be a good student with grammar, but I think or I feel that I have some problems when I, I try to remember uh, vocabulary. What do you do to remember vocabulary? Um, or to memorize it? Well, I try to, when I'm reading, I try to like write the, the words that I, I don't know mm -hmm. and I Google them just to, to, to see the meaning mm -hmm. of those words. And I try to understand that, I mean, I can learn it, it the, learn, learn the, the words in that moment, but then, <laughs> I don't know, I, for, I forget them. I don't know if maybe I need to practice more. <laughs> mm, depends. Depends on what type of vocabulary are you learning. Because if you are learning things that are not useful for you, then it's most likely you will not remember. The mm -hmm. recommendation that I can give you about that, Amy, is uh, to learn vocabulary that you use every day or that has a meaning to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, um, one time, I didn't know how to say, and, and I say this on a video that I'm, I'm gonna send it to you on tips how to do it. It's a 13 minute video, it's long, but it's worth it. So the thing is that um, I liked a song called London Dungeon. That's the name of the song. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what dungeon was. I didn't look for it. I didn't look for it, but I saw it in a movie. Send him to the dungeons. Calabozo. As you can see, it is a word that I never use right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell my, my girlfriend, for example, I'm going to take you to the dungeon. No. But it but, has a meaning for you. But it has a meaning. And mm -hmm. I never forgot that word. Also, reading Caballo de Troya, there was a word called swivel. Swivel means eslabón. Mm -hmm. Another word that I will never use, but because of the meaning to me, it's in my memory forever, yeah. even though I never use it. So recommendation, make it personal. Okay. Make it personal. And um, if you're gonna learn it, don't say, for example, mouse, raton, mouse, raton. So keep it like mouse, mouse, use it, touch it, feel it. That's the best mm -hmm. thing I can tell you. Okay. How often do you go to Dollar City? Mm, once in two months. Once every two months? Okay. How often yeah. do you go to the supermarket? Once a month, maybe. Because mm. I don't I don't make the, the, the supermarket in my house. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Just my I, mom. I figured. That's why. <laughs> I figured. Okay. Yeah. So the thing is this, be curious. I didn't know how to say uh, embudo, and I saw it in Dollar City, right? In Dollar City, everything is in English, and most of the things in French. Okay. Funnel, I never forget. Make it personal. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's the mechanic thing. Uh, like I said, um, Mouse, 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 right? And create sentences. My mouse is very useful. It is old, but it's very useful. 
and try mm -hmm. it out. Hola, el mouse. I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's maybe it. that's the problem that I'm trying to do it like very mechanic, as you said. And yeah, I'm going to try to make it personal. And I don't know, for my fluency, maybe, well, with the classes, mm -hmm. I, I feel that I'm having an improvement. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe I don't practice like every day, just in the class, during the class. So I need, I feel that I need to like, um, rodearme de más inglés. Um, it depends. It's like get surrounded is to start as rodeado, right? But yes, mm -hmm. expose yourself to the language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like music in English? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. You got it right there. Sing. I mean, as long as you're not singing, you know, <laughs> depends on the kind of music you like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to to do it more frequently. Mm -hmm. okay. um, as far as the, the talk to yourself. Talk to yourself in and English. Also, I think that I, I I feel like afraid to to speak in to speak um, Af afraid of speaking simply speaking. afraid of speaking mm -hmm. afraid of speaking all the time I'm I'm just uh, like repeating all the sentences just in my mind so I'm not I'm not speaking Correct. so I'm not practicing like with my mouth. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> in my mind, girl, I can be the best uh, skater in the world, the best basketball player in my mind, but if I want to put it in practice, then you're going to fail. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about people um, telling you, man, she's crazy. Literally, talk in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, do, well, this is, no. Have you ever feel dizzy? Do, do you drink alcohol? I used to drink. <laughs> uh -huh. Have you ever felt dizzy because you drank too much? Dizzy? Dizzy? Maria? Oh, yeah. Dizzy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been talking to yourself in the restroom or in the play? Oh my God, I am already drunk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do that. <laughs> but do that on daily basis. You don't need to drink alcohol for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If you do it drunk, do it with yourself. The, the idea is this. Um, oh, by the way, um, if the next person doesn't come and you want to keep on practicing, then the time is yours if you want. Um, okay. Make a fool of yourself. Make a fool of yourself. What do you mean with that? Like for you to make fun of yourself. Make a fool. A fool is someone, you know, like kind of dumb, foolish. Right. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. And um, laugh. Laugh of your mistakes. Don't be afraid of making mistakes because that's how you're going to learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, teacher. I heard, does your mom speak English? No, but my boyfriend speaks English. My boyfriend does. My boyfriend does. Do you practice with him? No, and he's a teacher as well. <laughs> oh, really? Where does he teach? In Academia Europea. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. It's not the same. No, no, it's not the same. My girlfriend says the same. <laughs> it's a teacher. No, no, she's not a teacher, but she, she doesn't uh, like to you, speak English with me. With you? <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like rare weird. weird weird yeah it's weird mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have you talked to him about this about you wanting to to talk with him the thing is that he wants to talk with me mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all the time but i mean he's, he's like uh speaking in english with me but um i am um answering mm -hmm. all the the everything in spanish I mean, it's, it's like that. 
I can understand what he's uh, talking about, but <laughs> I'm speaking just in Spanish all the time. Okay, I understood. But I think I have to take advantage of that. Yeah, you have to. You have to take advantage of that. Um, give me a second, please. I think that somebody connected and just disconnected. Give me a second. Okay, so um, the good thing right there is that you're practicing, you're listening, but go ahead and answer. And be careful. Ask him not to explain like a lot of grammar rules when he corrects you, because that's mm -hmm. what I did with my girlfriend and that only got her frustrated, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So for example, if you say uh, house instead of houses, you don't need an explanation, just mm -hmm. houses. Oh, houses, okay. And repeat the whole thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the best recommendation. You're good. You got a very Thank good you. and solid base. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to send you a few things so you can improve. In the meantime, okay. Thank get you. Out of here. See you tomorrow. Thank All you right. for staying. <laughs> Hey, what's up, David? What up, David? Hey, hi, teacher. Hey, yeah, I saw you, but, and you disconnected. Don't worry about it, this was your time. So, um, okay. tell me, what do you need help with? Grammar, vocabulary, advice, you tell me. I think mm -hmm. I have a problem with, I think a lot, uh, such a, uh, I, I don't know how to think that. That you think a lot? But what? Yes, uh, such as, uh, for example, mm, me quedo, mm, ah, okay. me organizar la, la idea. Uh -huh. That is called organization of thoughts, organization yes. of pensamientos. Yes. When does that happen? Uh, when when I try to speak, uh, I feel I I I say a lot uh, or vacilo uh mucho. -huh. Okay, uh, no not uh, not the speed so fluency. Even even though I I have the idea in my mind. Okay, and um, let me ask you something. What do you think that you, what do you think of? Do you think of a structure? Do you think of grammar? Do you think of vocabulary? What is it that you cannot say? I think um, perhaps vocabulary and mm -hmm. In a little bit grammar because uh, I for sometimes I forgot I uh, I forget the the structure mm -hmm. because I confused uh, last last night I confused it when you say let me see uh, let, let me check mm -hmm. When, when you said, was I granted? Uh -huh. Why do you, why did you use, I was granted, ED and not ING, if you are using a verb to be? Ah, okay, good question. Now, the difference there, David, is because I was using the past of B. I was not using uh, past continuous. So for example, okay. I was I was granting, it's like yes. yo estaba concediendo algo, 
yo estaba concediendo. An action that was happening in the past. Right? Okay. Which is past continuous. Right. And if I say, I was granted, it's like, yo fui concedido de algo. I was granted with an award. So, we have two different things right there. That is the past of B. Okay? Es el pasado del verbo to be. Okay. Pero también es voz pasiva. O sea, hay como que dos cosas ahí. I was granted. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understood that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called passive voice, right? Correct. It is passive voice. Okay. So, my recommendation for you, David, um, as I mentioned during the class, we need to have a very nice, solid base as far as grammar. Okay? Now, if okay, you are... Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh, um, if you are having issues with the grammar, David, what I recommend you to do is to be self-driven. Self-driven. Right? Okay. Self-driven is that you do the things by yourself. You don't need anybody else. And if you feel that you have issues with, with uh, simple present, Google it. Literally. Si para ti, y te lo voy a decir así por, por la complejidad de lo que se está diciendo. Si tú tienes problemas con simple present y sabes que tienes problemas con simple present, buscarlo en YouTube, por ejemplo. Si no tienes a nadie que te explique. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y puedes poner algo así como que, ¿cómo usar simple present? Porque si tú lo pones cómo usar presente simple, te va a dar presente simple de español. Entonces, ahí, que es para, cuando de verdad, porque eh, aprenderlo directamente de, de inglés a veces es complicado. Entonces, te va a dar tips como, vaya, esto se ocupa para tal cosa, pum, el ejemplo en inglés. Y significa tal cosa. Entonces, ahí, self-driven, es que tú también sepas identificar y aquí es donde viene el, el, sol, el docente. Si, por ejemplo, yo te digo, uh, David trabaja en, en, por ejemplo, going to. Entonces, ¿cómo usar going to? Okay. Y el okay. tip aquí, David, es, por ejemplo, yo llevo con inglés. Um, quiero ver. No sé, como 15 años de estar ocupando inglés. En serio. Yep. Y aún así. You have a long time. Yep. I work in the, in the call center industry for a long time. I've been teaching for a while now. 12 hours a day. Literalmente. A veces 12 horas de, de clase. Okay. <laughs> so, si yo lo hago, David, si yo me siento por horas, que a veces hasta mi señora se enoja. Si yo me siento por horas a ver, digamos que tengo que preparar una clase de simple present. Yo trato de buscar todo lo que puedo, pero yo ya tengo una base, ¿ok? Este, okay. Trato de buscar todo lo que puedo y trato de ver dónde mis estudiantes me pueden agarrar en curva, ¿ok? Entonces, busco tanto, practico tanto, que al final lo termino dominando. Y me gusta buscar videos de niños, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. eh, ahí vamos también a tu motivación de qué es lo que necesitas. ¿Ok? Con el grammar, si tú sentís que tienes dificultades con una, búscalo, busca ejercicios. Una vez ya más o menos la agarras la onda, ok. Um, simple past exercises. Boom, enter. Y tirate a lo que te caiga. Van a haber errores en las páginas web, pero ahí es donde vos te vas forjando. Si hay un momento que decís, ya esto está demasiado complicado para mí, pues pará, refrescate, olvídate de eso, and try again. Right. But it is up to you. And as far as your, your fluency about your organization of thoughts, vocabulary. Have you ever... Okay, so I want to go to... En tu mente. ¿Cómo es que se dice billar? ¿Ya te ha pasado eso? Mira, quiero... ¿Cómo se dice tal cosa en inglés? Right? So... 
Ahí es donde va tu vocabulario. Every single day, learn five to seven new words. Right? De cinco a siete okay. palabras. Y de ahí, little by little. Whenever you learn those words, don't translate. So, for example, cell phone, celular, vea. So, keep it in mind. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. I have a cell phone. Y empezar a crear oraciones. My cell phone is cheap. It is cheap, actually. My cell phone is cheap. Si tenés problemas con pasado, por ejemplo, y querés aprenderte el celular, haz oraciones en pasado. I had a cell phone. Yo tuve o yo tenía un celular. I didn't have a cell phone yesterday. Y empezar a practicar. Y unís la parte gramática con el vocabulario. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it requires a lot of effort, though. It's not easy, man. It is not easy. Yes, I know. Otherwise, everybody would so speak English. Nah, man, it's, it's, it's not difficult either. <laughs> no es tan difícil, solo es cuestión de, <laughs> de querer. Literalmente, es cuestión de querer. Y si necesitas algo, este, pregúntame. Sí, mire, ¿cómo puedo hacer tal cosa? Te voy a mandar una serie de, de, de links y de videos, que ya veo que todo el mundo necesita hacer eso. Este, Go to Randall's Listening. Hay una página que se llama ESL-LAB. ESL-LAB.com Y ahí tú tienes acceso a varios audios. All right? okay. En esos audios, este, tú puedes prácticamente um, escuchar y contestar las preguntas. Luego buscas una etiqueta que se llama, este, no me acuerdo cómo, listening, transcript, pero tiene que decir script. El punto es que abajo escoges el audio, escuchas una vez, probas tu comprehension. Right? Probas tu comprensión. Okay. ¿Me entendiste o no? Luego te vas allá a poder ver lo que estás escuchando. Le das play y ahí simplemente escuchas y vas leyendo. ¿Ya? Ahora, cuando ya hayas terminado eso, son varias etapas. Lo que tú tienes que hacer es agarrarlo por, por párrafos, por bloques. Justo como yo lo hago en clases. Le das play. Pausas. Obviamente en, en, en oraciones completas ¿verdad? o en párrafos completos. Y cuando tú pauses, trata de repetir. Igualito como sale ahí idéntico. ¿Ok? Este consejo, okay. imagínate, ya lo di tres veces, por eso es que veo que es muy común en el grupo. Ahora, play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. ¿Ok? Todo. Con un audio de un minuto, dos minutos, te puedes pasar 45 minutos. ¿Cuál es el beneficio de esto, uh, David? Luego de eso, el siguiente paso del challenge es que tú le des play y hables al mismo nivel del audio. ¿Ok? O sea, tú le das play sí. y tienes que hablar igualito, en el mismo pace. Obviamente a veces te va a dejar, le das de nuevo, y de nuevo, y de nuevo. <coughs> y el último paso de estas Olimpiadas es que te grabes leyéndolo. Y tenés que tratar de sonar lo más parecido a este, el audio. Lo más parecido que puedas, sin, de, sin, sin detenerte. Entonces, en todos estos pasos, David, vos estás matando muchos pájaros de un solo tiro. Repetís tanto que la gramática se te empieza a quedar. Y si, digamos, vos pensás en algo y has, has practicado, I eat uh, pizza, y de pronto vos decís, I eat pizza, las antenitas de Bilín te van a decir, hay algo malo ahí. ¿Eh? Porque lo has practicado tanto okay. que la gramática se te empieza a quedar, se te queda vocabulario, se te queda pronunciación, hay mucho en pronunciación, hay linking sounds, hay este, cosas que se acortan, se contraen, hay cosas que se eliminan, ¿eh? hay, uh, están los estrés que vas para arriba y para abajo. Entonces, si nosotros nos ponemos a ver todos esos temas, demasiada información. 
pero si vos simplemente sí, empezás a copiar, las cosas se te van a empezar a quedar así por, por mecánica. ¿Tú tenés hijos o hermanos pequeños? Eh, un sobrino, nada más. Ok. No sé si te has fijado vos, en tu caso, que los sobrinos ven la misma película un millón de veces. <risa> Entonces, así aprendemos normalmente. La ven la primera vez, no creas que le entienden todo. La segunda vez, le entienden un poco más a la película. La tercera, un poco más. Quizás ya por la tercera hasta se empiezan a poder los diálogos. Y te lo dicen exacto. ¿Viste la película Soy Leyenda? De Will Smith. No. Sí. No me ah, pues hay una parte que, que empieza a decir lo mismo que dice Shrek. So, eso, David, te va a servir para matar lo de la fluidez, para matar lo de, lo de que no sabes qué decir, para aprender vocabulario, para reforzar gramática. Eh, da, eh, eh, hace uno al día. Y te lo prometo. Y, y marcar en mis palabras, mark my words, así se dice, mark my words, vas a mejorar en cuestión de dos, tres semanas. Uno al día, que ah. sea tu challenge. Y ahí pero vas a romperla con todo. Te lo prometo, te lo puedo jurar. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Anything else for me? For the moment, no, teacher. Uh, just to... Nice teacher and I like it a lot. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you. And believe me, I am following a guideline, but I have a lot to give you. <laughs> <All Yes. right. laughs> thank you so much, teacher. Do your best, my man. That's the only way. No shortcuts. No hay atajos. Hágale con todo. Okay, thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good okay. one. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have Bye. a nice night. You too. Bye.